How's it going? Welcome back from the weekend. How was your Sunday? If you noticed, there was no bonus vlog on Sunday, which I quite enjoyed taking the break, but honestly, it feels like just the one day off has been a long time since I've done this. <laughs> I have talked about changing things up and I'm going to kick that off this week with a Slovenia themed week. Uh, this week there's going to be Slovenia themed vlogs, so everything is going to be something related to Slovenia. And today I thought I would start with kind of the, maybe an intro to my story, which is how I felt about leaving my family and friends and moving to Slovenia. For those of you who don't know, because I get asked this all the time, <laughs> even though I say it a lot, I am from California. Luca, my husband, is from Slovenia. Before we were married, a lot of people that I worked with, a lot of people that I was friends with, that I knew, would all tell me something like, oh my gosh, you're so brave. I cannot imagine leaving my friends and family and getting married and leaving everyone. Like, whoa, that would be really tough. So I can remember like one person in particular who said, I can't believe you're going to do this. That sounds like the scariest thing I've ever imagined and I would never be able to do that and I at the time thought really <laughs> and I have to say for me it just kind of felt like an adventure it felt like something that was so exciting and so great that I didn't at all worry I didn't at all feel anxiety or anything I was just so happy to end the long distance relationship and finally be married and not have this terrible experience of getting together and then having to pretty much tear each other apart, getting together, tear ourselves apart from each other over and over again. And I was just really happy that that was going to be over and that we were finally just going to be together. And I always liked to travel and when I was I don't know, 14 or 15, I had said, I want to live in Europe one day. And I said, maybe not for a long time, maybe just for a year, but I want to be in Europe. I want to travel Europe. I want to live there. And this was my dreams coming true. I was going to get to live in Europe and travel and see things and experience new things. And I was so excited for that, that I really didn't think about being sad or being lonely or anything like that. One of the reasons I was so willing to move here and leave my friends and family in California was because Luca never gave me an ultimatum. He never said anything like, you're gonna have to live in Slovenia or I have to be in Slovenia so if we're gonna be together you have to be there too. He was always open to living in either Slovenia or America and that made the decision much, much easier for me because it was like things were open. We originally decided that for the first year we were married, we would live in Slovenia and after one year we would reevaluate and if we felt like we wanted to move back to California, we would do that. And just having that openness made it really easy for me to move here. For the first year we were married, I did not miss anything. I didn't miss anyone, I didn't miss anything. I was so happy <laughs> to finally be with Luca all the time that I did not miss friends, family, home at all. Uh, since then, it's been a while, and I would say that the f I really started to miss people and home and stuff like that when Olivia was born. Because when Olivia was born, it really hit me that my family and my close friends will not get to experience her as a newborn. They won't get to ever see her as a baby. They'll see her, meet her when she's older, when we travel there, or, you know, some of my family came to visit me, but most of them didn't. That's when it really became more difficult, when I became uh, a little more homesick. Now, today, like, I do miss home, and I do miss... I never had so many friends. Like, I had a lot of acquaintances and people that I hung out with or saw or whatever, but, like, I only had a few very close friends. And now those friends, a lot of them have children, and 
you know, they're close to Olivia's age and it would be so nice to be together with them and raise our kids together to be friends together. I've made a lot of friends here. There's, all, there's something that's just different from your friends that you've grown up with, that you've known a long time, that you're really close with, and friends that come from your own culture and country and home. There's something there that's just unspeakable or indescribable that you understand each other in a certain way that is really difficult to do with people here. Like I have some really good friends here. Um, and a lot of times there's just this, there's just something in between that's not comfortable. Like you, and I think it's just the cultural differences. Like my expectations of spending time with somebody as a friend is different than somebody's expectations here. I do miss my family a lot. I have a big family. There's my mom and my dad, and then they had us seven kids, and I'm the oldest. All my brothers and sisters back home, I miss them a lot. We're all really close. Of all my siblings and my parents, so far everyone has come here to visit me except one brother, Maverick. If you're watching this, I'm calling you out. It's time you come here, okay? <laughs> I used to joke that everyone will come to visit me when I say I'm moving out of here. And then I have a few of my really close friends that I, I miss a lot. And it's hard when you have really close friends that you don't get to be with. And then even here when I have good friends, there's, it's just not the same. And it's like, that is sometimes challenging. I think that the friendship that you have with people when you don't ever get to spend time with them, you really start to miss them. And like I said, for the first few years, I didn't miss any of that. But after so much time, you really begin to miss it. So I think I feel maybe uh, a little lonely or excluded or I f sometimes because a lot of times I feel like I don't fit in. I feel very different from <laughs> most Slovenes as an American. I think that it's initially you feel very much the same because there's not such a big difference but the longer that i've been here the bigger the difference the bigger the differences appear sometimes i do feel lonely and i do feel like i uh, i miss my close friends and my siblings at home and sometimes i have really great time with my friends and family here i'm very fortunate that luca's family is a wonderful family so I have a great family on this side as well, and we all get along, which is fantastic, and um, I'm very grateful for that. So that's kind of where I am now. I'm always like excited to make new friends and stuff. There's just always that special something you have with your close friends that I do miss. Do you have any questions about this? It is a very interesting topic, leaving friends and family for love, to go to a whole another country and another culture on the other side of the world. You know, this isn't just like another state over, another country over, like it's half the world over almost. So if you have questions, comment below, let me know. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please like it. If you like me, subscribe. And I will see you tomorrow for another Slovenian themed vlog.